officers who police them at various agencies. Um, there's no guidance on what can be done if someone violates your constitutional rights and you're kind of just out of luck at this point. Yeah, so that's, it's hard to imagine it being even worse and for them it is even worse. Uh, so back to Jose, uh, the, the Fifth Circuit pretty decisively uh, tried to put it into his case. IJ stepped in, filed cert for cert at the U.S. Supreme Court. Can you talk about what, what will happen if the court takes the case or what the potential is for, uh, for Jose if they take the case? And, and alternatively, what, what his position is if they don't? Yeah, so, so just as a quick primer, the Bivens case involved a situation where agents of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics, which no longer exists, entered into a man's home and handcuffed him in front of his family before taking him to a federal courthouse and strip searching him. And so that was the context in which the Supreme Court said you can bring Fourth Amendment claims against federal actors. In recent years, the court has said more or less, we're not going to create any new situations where you can sue federal actors, but the traditional ways are still available. And so most of the circuit courts following that decision in 2017 have said, okay, there is a constitutional cause of action. You can sue federal agents when they violate your rights under the Fourth Amendment um, if they're essentially doing federal police work in a standard way. And so it doesn't matter what agency they're working with or what exactly they're doing or exactly how they violate your constitutional rights. If it's standard law enforcement operations, for example, the Fourth and Sixth Circuits have very clearly said, there's a cause of action. So we don't care that in Bivens that was a Federal Bureau of Narcotics versus U.S. Parks Police versus U.S. Marshals or any of the other agencies. All we care about is the policing aspect and the fact that your Fourth Amendment rights are violated. Well, now the Fifth Circuit has broken from um, that consensus and now is essentially saying if your case doesn't look exactly like the facts of Bivens, if you weren't involved in a narcotics investigation, essentially in a very strange way saying, the only way you have any constitutional rights against federal officers in Texas, Mississippi, and Louisiana is if you're suspected of selling drugs. Um, it has created this crazy rift now, and uh, that has a very broad application to all the people in Texas, but it's also, obviously, in this case, which involves the VA hospital, you know, that this puts 10% of American veterans at risk anytime they enter one of the 154 facilities in the Fifth Circuit um, that the VA provides. And so if the Supreme Court takes this case, our hope is that they will side back with the consensus, which we think is consistent with their earlier opinion, and say, no, regardless of our criticism of the Bivens Doctrine and extending it, it exists in the context of federal policing writ large anytime there's a Fourth Amendment violation. If the court doesn't do that, what will happen is that all of the people in Mississippi, Texas, and Louisiana will have a different constitution in effect than the people across the rest of the country. And the concern is that maybe other circuits will follow the Fifth Circuit and broaden the split, thereby denying those rights to even more people. And so your Fourth Amendment rights will depend on whether you're in Michigan or Mississippi or Tennessee or Texas. Thank you both for being here. Thank you to everyone for listening. If you enjoyed this conversation, you can find more wherever you get your podcasts or on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe. Just put that together for a minute. A totally different set of constitution instead of actually going by the real constitution, which is the law of the land. And that doctrine is overriding the law of the land. And you wonder why innocent people are going to prison and jails? This couldn't be it, could it? We got to get rid of this immunity, King George sovereign immunity crap. Period. Quit protesting the cops and go after and protest the federal judges. They're the ones that made this a doctrine possible and they're the ones that keep using it. And it's not even a law. Diesel for the people news. Till next time, y'all. Bye.